gap I have right here, which is my widest gap, is almost an eighth of an inch. So everything's got to shift that way at least that far. I may end up having to take and slant because I'm touching here and I've gapped there. I'm, this has to rotate down, but I don't know if it's going to rotate down enough. I believe the next thing it's it's really hitting on is this little teeny tiny point right back here. But that point is going to end up being further back than what it is, what I'm drawing it now. So I don't have to be too precise. I just got to clear out enough for that to go. But it's got to go an eighth of an inch. That point will end up back here. Now this has got to drop down probably another sixteenth because this got this wood's got to reach up to here. Seems to be pivoting on something in here. Because when I push this down, this pops up. When I push this down, this pops up. It seems like it's hitting real hard right here around the front of this safety button. Something's real tight right there. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of tight stuff all in here. There's black all down this side and all down this side. Tight I'm okay with. As long as it'll go. Tight. I want it to fit tight. looks like I'm putting a lot of pressure on that but this rubber pad is mashing into those caulking levers it's not hurting this at all if one of those caulking levers just doesn't want to move and I think it's probably some wood in here that needs to be relieved this in here moves fine the caulking levers uh, it's all smoked up so you can't really see very well but they're right in here that little lever and that little lever and when you push down on this up here that caulking lever moves and this one over here 
is in a bind. It's touching the side of this wood right there. All part of the process. This is almost down far enough. I lack probably a 30 second to go down in here. Well, I smoked this receiver again and dropped it in there and put a little pressure on it to remember I had to tip the bottom this way and I found the culprit a really black heavy mark right there and it was just just it was just holding it over I mean there's it was doing what it was supposed to do it was holding it over so all I got to do is relieve a little bit of that it'll straighten it up it's wanting to sit straight but it couldn't because of that little tab in there That cocking lever that was in a bind before because I shifted that bottom over, that cocking lever is semi-loose. It needs to go 18 over and that would give me a, a 36 total. But it's really close. It's really close. My safety does not move. Yeah, it's in a bind. i got to relieve that safety. 
and my caulking levers one of them moves freely the other one yeah, it needs to be freed up but I'm gonna I'm gonna think about this tomorrow but I'm really really happy with what I've got done here today the depth is pretty good I need to go down maybe a little bit here and there but before I go down much I will put the bottom in and get this screw in place and see what my total height top to bottom at that screw is and I've only got about a 30 second down here for the bottom to sit in there so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold up where I'm at